In order to secure a successful invasion of Ferdiad, Edelgard launches a raid on the fortress city of Arianrode, which occupies a key position on the border. At Arianrode, a mage serving House Blathed, named Cornelia, and the head of House Fraldarius, Rodrigue, strengthen their defenses. They deceive me and close in on Aryan Road. But it's not like I'm just going to stand by and watch. I will slaughter them all. So this is the Silver Maiden. Seeing it with my own eyes, I finally understand its strength. Especially the fact that its strength is distributed across its frontal defenses. We'll attack the front and keep our enemy occupied while the others enter by the East Gate.
tightness, my lovely dolls. Seek out the enemy and destroy them. And if the chance presents itself, I wouldn't mind being rid of those unsightly kingdom forces, too. Are those Cornelia's magical weapons? Impressive. Put me in there. What's my strategy? For the Empire. I'll cut through. Ready for anything. More fighting. A great <laughs> I'll cut a bloody path. I'm awake. I do this for all of us. I will prevail. Understood. See this war through. Allow me to demonstrate. All is going to plan. Witness Bridget Pride. For Bridget, I find strength to carry on. More effective. I am the King's shield. Devoted to protecting the kingdom, as well as the king's lance, who kills his foes. In the name of House Baldarius, I will defeat you all. This is critical. It's time. So, my foolish son, you took it upon yourself to leave your family behind. I'm not coming back. I won't serve the boar. It's a father's duty to settle his child's failures. Felix, you must die, here and now! So this is it. Your Majesty, please bring us victory. All for Her Majesty. Phew. 
Well done. Traps awaiting us inside the castle. What a nuisance. But with such large-scale traps, there must be some sort of mechanism to control them. more of these devices. Understood. <laughs> Child. I'll cut through. I'll cut a bloody path. Did you think I'd let you go?
Put me in there. Ready for anything. More fighting. Back to the fray. Live and fight. For the Empire. I'm awake. Thanks so much. What's my strategy? All of us. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst. Don't underestimate us. One to remember. I fight and grow stronger. Only natural. Cost. Another skill only for battle. Come <laughs> on. 
so. My stage now. Amazing. Your death is not in vain. was a quick study. Thank you. I'll use this power for the greater good.
clear. The only possible outcome. I'll return the favor. I could learn from that. Unexpected. The traps have been disabled. It should be safe to advance now. Our goal is Cornelia. Let's make this an all-out assault. Hope you're ready. You're all going down. An encouraging display. Use. 
strategy. One day, the war will be over. <sighs> if only progress didn't require so much work. No time for pity. We'll ensnare them with ease. It's life or death.
Inspired. Must continue to develop. Guest, let me take care of you. Allow me. My efforts are paying off. Such a shame. I always thought we'd end up being good friends. But here you are as my enemy. The only thing left to do is kill you, right? Ah! Oh, so this is as far as I could get. Growing stronger suits me. Uh -huh. All is in accordance with this carefully crafted script of ours. <laughs> what a masterpiece! What a delightful dance! Victory is ours! Arian Road has fallen! Another army will take control of Arian Road. As for us, we will take all of the military force we can muster and advance to the kingdom capital of Ferdiad. It won't be long before all of Fodlin is unified. Everyone, this is our last push. Our goal is within reach. What turn of events has brought you so suddenly to Garrig Mach, uncle? Well, my business in the old Alliance territory had roughly finished. I wanted to see the face of my niece, who so bravely took Aryan Road. I have heard that it was done with truly magnificent tact, and that you even deceived some of your allies. I'm happy to have earned your praise. However, to say that I deceived my allies is a bit misleading. I despise leaks of information, 
and there may have been a church rat hiding amongst our ranks. Ah, I see. However, there are some unfortunate consequences. Cornelia surely planned to betray them, but she has been struck down. Truly wasteful meddling. Unless... Was it your intention to kill her? Professor, don't joke about that. The only ones we came to kill were our enemies. She used a terrible magic weapon. Dolls that she could move and fight with. Did you know about them? Well now, if that were the case, would it not have been better to keep her as an ally? If you are only capable of such imprudence, this dark cloud might hang over the Empire's future as well. Thank you for your concern. However, I will sweep aside any darkness that comes our way. I will be praying. Praying that the Empire will not become another Aryan road. Another Aryan road? Just what do you mean? <laughs> I must take my leave now. Farewell. Lady Edelgard, there you are. We just received some truly shocking news. It is said that pillars of light have rained from the heavens and disintegrated Aryan Road. Disintegrated? Why would he do that? Was Lord Arendelle just here? So that would mean... Hubert, give me the full report! Uh, my apologies. I, of all people, should be able to control my discomposure. The Pillars of Light descended and exploded, resulting in the complete destruction of the main building and the North Wall. It is believed that all key people within House Row, including its leader, were killed. Of the Imperial officers and men we kept at Aryan Road, about a third are unaccounted for. It can't be true. So, this is my uncle's trump card. In exchange for striking down Cornelia, he has destroyed Aryan Road. Perhaps we acted too soon in our disposal of Cornelia. No. If we'll be fighting them soon, there's no disadvantage to weakening their forces. It's also extremely valuable that we force them to show their hand. Hubert, the investigation you made into the legend of ALL, the Valley of Torment, this is likely what took place back then as well. Yes. Probability is high. Yes, it is quite likely. North of Garig Mach, there is a valley where the earth is always aflame. Once javelins of light fell from the sky there. They pierced the earth and set the forest ablaze, creating a land of torment. We believed it may have been the work of the goddess, but it was actually an attack by those who slither in the dark. That sums up all that we know. By gifting us that knowledge, those who died at Aryan Road will not have died in vain. Indeed. It would be good to control the flow of this information. True. We'll conceal this from everyone as best we can. I trust you, my teacher. I'm sure everyone has heard about what transpired at Aryan Road. The Church has displayed their cowardice by indiscriminately using forbidden practices to kill the residents there. Their victims also include members of House Rome, the Imperial Army, and many, many more. According to our investigation, the forbidden attack that destroyed Aryan Road cannot be used again so quickly. Even so, we cannot delay our efforts. We must put a stop to all of this by the end of next month. The leader of one of the Imperial factions has already initiated an attack on the Fraldarius territory lost by Rodrigue. Soon all obstacles blocking our path to Ferdiad will have vanished. A cornered animal is at its most deadly. We must move quickly. Next, we march through the Teen Plains. After that, we destroy Ferdiad. At that time, complete Imperial control over Fodlin will finally be a reality. <sighs> oh, I'm shaking with excitement! Bring on the battle!
I understand that a confrontation is inevitable. Still, I wonder if there's some path we could take that would cause less suffering. This is the only path for the goal we are reaching for. And so we must keep walking on it. We are walking down the path to a better tomorrow. A cornered church? Hmm. Well, count me out from any forbidden sorcery that can destroy whole cities. If only there was an easier way to get more information on crests and relics. You are as negative as usual, Linhart. We have but one order. To emerge victorious. We're going to win this. We really are. After all, if we lose, everything will be terrible forever. Oh, no way. We can't let that happen. There's a lot to worry about, but I'm sure it will all work out. We'll win no matter what. <laughs>